Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using Chromebooks Alpha to enhance assessment development. So oftentimes in counseling research, we design assessments to capture complex constructs like depression or anxiety. And these assessments or instruments comprise items. And it's not unusual for these assessments to have many items, say anywhere from 30 to well over 100. But for this example, I'm just going to use eight items. So let's say that we're developing an instrument that is designed to capture the construct of depression. And there are a lot of depression inventories available, but we want to create one that's brief, just eight items, even less. And we want to see which of the eight items hold together with the others. So we want to evaluate each item to see how well it holds together with the other items, which will inform us as to whether we should retain that item or we should delete it. So Chromebooks Alpha is an estimate of internal consistency, which is an important construct in looking at assessments. We want all the items that are supposed to be measuring the same thing to be consistent with one another. Now there are instruments that measure more than one, what's referred to as subscale. So there might be an instrument that, for instance, has uh, maybe 40 or 50 items and 20 or 25 are dedicated to measuring depression and the remainder are dedicated to anxiety. So there we would expect all the items measuring depression to have high internal consistency and all the items measuring anxiety to have a high internal consistency. But in this example, since all of these items would be designed to measure depression, we would hope they would all hold together well and we want to be able to evaluate that. So this is a good opportunity to differentiate between what Chromebooks Alpha does and what a factor analysis would do. So Chromebooks Alpha is an estimate of inter-item reliability. It tells us how well the items hold together, how consistent they are with each other. That does not speak to what construct they measure. So all these items could have high inter-item reliability but not be measuring the construct of depression. They may be measuring another construct, or these items could be split and measuring different constructs. So determining Chromebooks Alpha and getting an estimate of the inter-item reliability is important. You need a reliable instrument to have a valid instrument. But if you want to determine what construct items load on, then you need to use factor analysis. So taking a look at these fictitious data, you can see I have participant ID numbers, and there are 50 participants. And then you have a value for each item on this instrument. So again, this instrument has eight questions or statements that each of these participants responded to. And I base this on a six-point Likert scale. And an example of possible responses on a six-point Likert uh, might be in reference to some question in this example related to depression. It would be something like at one, you know, strongly disagree, and then moving up to two, agree, and then somewhat disagree, and then the other side, somewhat agree, agree, and strongly agree. So a six-point Likert doesn't really allow the participant to answer neutral. Uh, for instance, if you had a seven-point Likert or a five-point Likert scale, uh, the one in the middle would be a neutral response. But with the six-point Likert, the participant really has to choose, to some degree anyway, uh, disagreement or agreement in the example I used before. So they have to go with somewhat disagree or more strongly disagreeing or somewhat agree or more strongly agreeing. So Chromebooks Alpha is a very effective tool for helping this type of assessment design 
and let's analyze these data. We'll start with analyze and then scale and then reliability analysis and I'm going to reset this to default. So this is what it looks like uh, by default. So I'm going to press control A to select all the items here in the list box to the left and of course case number is nominal so I'm going to deselect that by holding control and clicking on it. So now I have all eight items selected and I'm just going to move them over into the items list box. The model of course will remain as alpha, Chromebooks alpha, but there are some statistics I'm going to want to add to the default here. Uh, I want the item, the descriptors for the item, and the scale if item deleted. And that's an important one to check off. And then I want the correlations, the inter-item correlations. So I'm going to click continue and now the analysis is ready to run. I'll click OK. So first off here in the output you can see that I had 50 valid cases. I had no missing values or anything like that. Moving down to reliability statistics. So looking at the first item, it's Chromebooks Alpha, a measure of inter-item reliability or consistency. And we can see here it's 0.692. So to give you an idea of what this would mean, any value above 0.8 is generally considered great. That's where we'd want to be. That's high inter-item reliability. Above 0.7, above 0.7 is good, and above 0.6 is questionable, but there are some that believe that it's acceptable. So that's kind of a gray area. Uh, ideally, we'd want to be above 0.7 to be sure, uh, but above 0.6 is okay in some circumstances. The Chromebooks Alpha based on standardized items, uh, it gives you an estimate if the variances were equal, which oftentimes is not the case. And then of course number of items here was eight. Taking a look at the item statistics, uh, we can see the mean scores for each item and the standard deviations. And you can see there's a few items that stand out right away. Item two and item five have very high standard deviations relative to many of the other items, although item 7, 1.151, also fairly high standard deviation. And then here we look at the inter-item correlation matrix. And what we're looking for here is any value that is less than 0.3. And of course that includes negative values. And that would indicate that they're not holding together very well with the other items. So if we look at this, we can see the items that stand out. For example, if, if we follow item two across, we have uh, 0.195 here, that's below 0.3. We have one that is barely above 0.3. And then all the others would be below 0.3. And then for item five, we have a negative value here. One's, uh, all these actually would be less than uh, 0.3. There's only one positive value. So we can see that item 2 and item 5 don't seem to be holding together well with the other items. And you can see here between all the remaining items we have values of 0.3 or greater. So as we move down here to the item total statistics, the area of interest is what would the Chromebooks Alpha be if this item were deleted? Now we can reason from this inter-item correlation that what we're probably going to find here is that item 2 being deleted would increase Chromebooks Alpha and it does uh, by, by a little bit to 0 0.705. Remember it was 0.692 so that's not a dramatic difference but it moves us from uh, the questionable or possibly acceptable range to the good range. And then you can see item 5, there's a dramatic increase, right, 0.813. So if we delete item 5, we'll have a Chromebooks Alpha of 0.183. So to do that, we would just go back into um, Analyze, and then Scale, and Reliability Analysis, and we would just take item 5 out of the analysis. And if we move back down here to 
Chromebook's advocacy has increased to 0.813, which is, that's a great Chromebook's alpha. And then we can see by now deleting item 2, we can move to 0.868, which is a fair amount greater than what we would have. So let's go back in. We can do it from here too. Analyze, scale, reliability analysis, and we'll take out item 2. Now we're left with just six items. And we can see it did increase, of course, to 0.868. And if you look across here, uh, there's only one item, that's item 7, that would give us any increase at all, and it's fairly small, from 0.868 to 0.873. Uh, whereas all the other deletions that we could possibly uh, execute would lower the Chromebooks Alpha. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.